Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk about Luxfer cylinders. There's some new developments happening with Luxfer. I'm going to fill you in. Luxfer has been making cylinders since the 1970s. This model right here is manufactured in December of 1972. I think that might have been the first year that they started manufacturing. I might be wrong, 1971 might have been the first year, but this is very early Luxfer. Here's some more early model Luxfer cylinders. That 1972 tank I just showed you, 1973. Luxfer has been around for 50 years manufacturing tanks. Here's a 1978. 1980. These are the first decade of Luxfer manufacturing. When Luxfer started manufacturing cylinders, they were using 6351 aluminum. They did change in the 1980s. I have a video that I posted on 6351 aluminum describing exactly what happened with these tanks. Watch that video and I'll go into details, but basically they were cracking at the neck. If you haven't seen how they manufacture scuba cylinders, aluminum cylinders, I'll leave a link down below so you can watch that video. Really cool video on how they actually manufacture scuba cylinders. Okay, what's the news with the update with Luxfer? Well, they stopped manufacturing scuba cylinders. They actually sold the scuba side of their business to another maker. They sold to Metal Impact. Metal Impact has also purchased Worthington scuba tanks. So, both Worthington and Luxfer will now be manufactured under the name Metal Impact and they will be distributed through Sea Pearls and XS Scuba. What does that mean for us, the end user of the scuba cylinder? Hopefully not much. Hopefully we still have plenty of new cylinders being manufactured for us to use and sell and buy. The Metal Impact company, we'll see. We'll see what kind of impact they have on our sport, our industry. Time will tell. Catalina tanks are still being manufactured and they are becoming the, one of the biggest leaders and manufacturers of scuba tanks for us. And they make a great tank. I like the results when I do hydro testing on them. We'll see what Metal Impact has uh, as I start doing hydros. I'll probably know in the next five years uh, when they start coming in for hydro testing. As I understand it, Luxford will continue to make oxygen cylinders for the medical business. And that's a good thing because we use it in our DAN kits. If you have any questions about what's going on with the actual metal impact taking over the cylinders, leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate a subscription, a like, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.